Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Cliff London Uncensored. Of course, I'm Cliff London, as you know. Oh, and before I get started here, if any of you out there live in a state in America, of course, where, um, hold on, give me one second here. Give us some uh, tech. Um, if you if you live in a state that's uh, relatively safe, you know it doesn't have to be the safest. I guess it just has to be safer than fucking Chicago. Let me know in the comment section. You know, I I have decided that I can't raise a child in this miserable fucking city. I mean, I'll say thank you to it because it gave you, you know, thank you, Chicago. You gave me my wife and a lot of great memories. Which brings me to the point, I'm just, uh, what I'm talking about today is, yes, by the way, if you live in a good state, good job opportunities for a physical therapist, let me know in the comment section, uh, somewhere where you could raise a child. Video, what I want to talk about today is um, one reason why I want to leave Chicago is the awful, miserable, trollish Lori fucking Lightfoot. The most diversity fucking bullshit virtue signal higher in the history of politics. I can't stand this woman. Okay, so you all know about the violence going on in Chicago. And our president, he has um, offered help. Now, he never said help in the form of Gestapo soldiers coming in and wrecking shit. He never said that. He just said assistance, you know. Now, I'm not an FBI agent. I'm not a Fed. I don't know what their procedures are in curtailing something like this. I know what I wish that the local police would do. Oh, but you can't do that because you know that you know now now you know now if you're a white cop, you shoot a black kid, man, you're done. So you know now they're afraid. They're probably jumpy. They're still just civilian. They're, you know they're, they're 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 civilian officers. You know they're not military at the end of the day they just want to go home too the problem is is that some of you fucking assholes that don't want to go home that want to do shit Lori Lightfoot don't you know you're you're being coddled right now and you got you know exactly the one I'm talking about so far let's talk about Lori Lightfoot anyway back on point is that she said that she she look, she said she would sue Donald Trump if he went against her wishes, which is kind of bullshit, because anyway, I think there's some article. Uh, Kaylee McEnany was talking about it. There's some article uh, in uh, the Constitution that permits him to do just that. But they're automatically assuming the assuming the worst. Now, I read something in the Epoch Times that yes, she did eventually agree. I mean, uh, agree to take help. You shouldn't need help, actually. But she finally agreed to take it. I read this in the Epoch Times today. She finally decided to take help and put feds on the ground. She said in the article that it's going to be more in the terms of them interlinking with what we already have going on here. Um, Sounds like it's going to be a bunch of uh, grandstanding and dick measuring contests to me. Which kind of leads me to another... uh, reason why I got to get the fuck out of this town. So what Lori Lightfoot has done so far, she inherited a shit show. So I will, you know, after Rahm Emanuel, she did inherit a shit show. But so far, since she's been here, and hey, I'm just a guy talking. I don't know what I would do, but I do know how she's acting right now and how nonsensical her shit is. Okay? This woman doesn't give a fuck about anything but the LGBT alphabet suit group. That's all. That's the, her only real agenda. And these people in this city put her in office because it was a cool hip thing to do to put the little pudgy short black lesbian in the office. 
You know, it's cool. Well, look how progressive we are. Look what we did. You know, no, never asking about her qualifications because so far she's been taking a fucking shit all over the job. She hasn't done shit for the violence. But I will point out that when those riots and shit were going on here in Chicago, she made damn sure Boys Town, which is the gay section in Chicago, uh, she made sure nothing happened there. Number one. The other shitty thing she did is when she first got into office, knowing that uh, people are leaving this city by the thousands yearly. They're getting the fuck out because of the extremely high taxes. The parking meters are owned by the Japanese. Everything is sold off. Chicago is basically like a, 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 kept, a kept poor right now. And in her infinite bullshit wisdom, Lori Lightfoot decides to make Chicago a sanctuary city. Now, I know some of you out there may say, Oh, but Cliff, they're just trying to have, you know, and you're worried about how much it costs. you goddamn right. Do you know how many, how, how high taxes are here? And she keeps, and they keep raising them for bullshit. The point of the matter is, is that if the city is hurting for money and you have residents leaving to get away from it, you know, and you have your own native Chicagoans, Americans, starving, you got all these homeless people on the street living in their own shit, you know, you ain't got to give them five-star hotels, but there needs to be some place where they can have shelter. A lot of them can't get their medication because those things were shut down. But what you will do is, a, is make us a sanctuary city. You want to, you know, she's, want, she's interested in helping a bunch of people that weren't born here. Before she's interested in helping you idiots over on the south side shooting each other. I mean, I hope you realize that because I watched you fuckers on the news going, we just want to see what Lori Lightfoot going to do for us. Well, there you are. I hope it worked out for you because I was going to vote for fucking Preckwinkle because I just thought that she seemed more gruff and wouldn't be babying you fucking guys. Like Lori Lightfoot. So, so what we have for her track record so far is she hasn't done shit for the violence. She has protected Boys Town. Okay, you got that. You got that? Uh, so far, when she defends herself, she calls a name. She called the uh, Fraternal Order of Police FOP clown. Woo! She did that shit. Okay, which was probably, which was true. I don't know. They're all clowns to me. You guys know that I think that anyway. Okay. And the fourth, she made us a sanctuary city, spending money on people we don't know, on th you know, when we don't have money we don't have. Oh, and five, to get the money, what does she do? She goes and pats herself on the back, goes on TV talking about that she just approved 11 million, 11 million for development or whatever, or some vague shit, you know, after she pretended to get it, go and walk around in the quote unquote hood and look at the destruction and pretend she gives a fuck. You know, oh, she approved 11 million. That was, she approved 11 million for blah, blah, blah. You approved it. Which basically means. You raise taxes. All you Chicagoans that thought the soft drink, the sweet drink tax went away. Nah, it didn't go away. They just made it small. It was just five cents. Pay attention to your receipts. Okay. So, so far, she's just come in and we've just gotten more of the same. I can't say that she's been any worse or any less, but I've been living in Chicago for 13 years. So I have something to compare it to. And Lori Lightfoot, you should be ashamed of yourself. And I don't care what you call me. I'm just a nobody. That's right. Whatever you can call me, I'm ready for it Because that's about all you got. When Kaylee McEnany called you out and said, take care of your city, what'd you call her? You used a racial appetite. You called her a Karen. But if somebody used a, a slur against lesbians, you'd probably be crying. Which brings me to another point. You know, she said um, in this article in Epoch Times that uh, she goes, I'm not going to let... Trump and his stormtroopers come here and terrorize our citizens. <laughs> really? Now you wanna now you wanna puff your little weird chest out, Lori Lightfoot? Now you wanna get your little puffy fucking Don King-esque afro? Now you wanna fucking get tough on something? What I wanna see is you get tough on some of these community leaders. What I wanna hear you say is, hey black folks sometimes you got to take responsibility for your own shit and quit looking for the fucking goddamn handout there comes a point in time for everyone no matter what color you are where you have to take your destiny into your own hands 
They ain't gonna give you no fucking reparations. Which is great. Who wants it? I'll earn my own. Strength. Real strength. Not begging. Not asking for pity. Not begging for acceptance. You know, I want you to say these things, Lori Life, but to people, instead of just getting up there and pretending and just throwing money at the problem, which your city doesn't have. And you know, that goes for you too, JB Boss Hog Pritzker. All these guys do is approve, uh, uh, approve tax hikes. They don't call it that. They call it some sort of funding, but that just means that the money has to come from somewhere. Nothing is for free. All you, bro, all you idiots that are all about this socialism stuff, please get on the internet. Do some research. It's never worked. It's never worked, and it will never work. But you know why? Because humans are flawed inside. We are. Absolute power does corrupt. You can get some people in trouble. When you give someone that much power, you know, you're just thinking about your fucking bills being paid, but when they're delivering groceries to your door also, and when they say, hey, you do what we say, or we take this, 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 and this away. They take away your spirit, they take away your soul, but some of you are so lazy that you would give that up just so you wouldn't have to get your fucking ass up and go to work. Those of you that are fans of that dumb broad Alexandro Cosiro Cortez of, that, are, that are fans of her. That woman is an idiot. Anyway, that's a different video. She's so stupid, though, and annoying. But Lori Lightfoot's worse. And Lori Lightfoot is worse because of this. Because Lori Lightfoot, I'm sure that you were very aware of the political climate and the era that you knew that your skin and your lesbianism and your tall, lanky, lurch from the Adams family looking girlfriend you knew that that would give you an in. That would just, you know, and you knew that there would be some virtue signaling whites that would just feel so good about themselves being able to check that box and look at each other, you know, look at each other and think that they're doing the right thing. Oh, Lori Lightfoot, some of my neighbors had the posters in the window and I'm going, and it always came up. You know, I'm not the only one. I'm not the one. I'm only bringing it up because it always came up when people talk about her, you know. The first African American openly gay. And what does your fucking sexual preference have to do with your job qualifications? No one's scared of homosexuals. I'm not. I think that they deserve the best that life has to offer, just like anyone else. But it's your sexual preference. It's something done in private, which means it's your damn business. Why is it why is it that your personality centers around that? I would say the same thing for uh black folk. Why is that so what you know, why is that the most uh why is that first that to define yourself? I don't know. Maybe it's a societal brainwashing. That's another video. But I'm just saying when we you know, we keep putting these people in office. Black folk, we keep putting them in office, we keep voting for them. Because at the end of the day, all that happens is maybe some funding, a fucking program or something. And I think you all subconsciously are waiting on a paper check. Well, uh, you know, a check that what she going to do. No, not going to happen. Not going to happen. And you know what? Good. Get the fuck out of work. And I, and I hope... And I hope they do reform that wick and that link and shit. I really hope they do. And you'll see what you're really made out of. Some of you guys is you know out there shooting children, shooting babies. First of all, you're supposed to be a tough guy, but you won't fucking knuckle up. You're supposed to be a tough guy, but you can't even aim right. Last weekend, 80-something people were shot in this fucking town. Most of them were kids. That's not white people doing that. That's not white cops. You fucking people talking about George Floyd. That's one. George Floyd is one. We took out, I shouldn't even say we, no, you, and you know who you are, helped take out children that didn't do shit. 
that was doing her homework instead of being out on the streets at midnight like I see these hoes out here when I go home from work. No, she was doing her homework and got shot in the head because you so-called fucking thug, wannabe gangster fucks, shot, can't shoot right. You can't even shoot right. Where are you, Lori Lightfoot, though? Hmm? She said, well, I don't want Trump sending his people in to terrorize our citizens. So you're cool with Ray Ray and fucking Babacar fucking terrorizing hard-working fucking American black folk. You're okay with that. But let Trump try to do the job that you're not doing. We all know that it was never going to be one of those things. You know, you all were trying to paint this narrative, Lori Lightfoot, that Trump was going to come down here and they were going to be wearing KKK hats and be saying, Negroes, get in the house and shit. No, that's not what he meant at all. And you know it. You can't do something like that in America. That's one reason, you know, why people love this country. You can't do that. And I want to say to you all that have these opinions, and especially like Lori Lightfoot that's talking about suing Trump and everything, you know, I, I, I want you to think, if you were, uh, let's say that you were a mayor in uh, Saudi Arabia or Iran or shit, and you was going on and on and calling the president names, your ass would disappear in the middle of the night without a trace. And maybe, you know, you would, I'm not, I'm not threatening or anything, I'm just saying that this, you know, this level of defiance and disrespect, number one, it's misplaced because you shouldn't be being defiant. Mayor Lightfoot, you shouldn't be defiant because you've been doing a shit job on it. And just so you know, I come home from work late at night, early morning. I see the result of your negligence. I've been seeing it. I take the red line. It goes all the way north, all the way south, right through the asshole of the city. And I smell the shit, the piss, the death, the anguish, the depression. Now, you can't cure these people's neuroses or whatever happened. You're not a god. Of course not. But what you can do is make better choices. What you can do is care about the people that live here first. America first. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because you got people that come here and live here and they don't say America first. And y'all are kissing their ass. They're saying, viva la this, viva la that. And you're kissing their ass. Oh, so courageous. But if someone says America first, they're called a racist or ism or ist. Or Uncle Tom. And the people, all them people that say Uncle Tom crack me the fuck up. You know, while you're sitting there living where I'm living, motherfucker. You ain't packed your fucking bullshit Farrakhan speeches and get on the, and go back. Go back there. See, see how long you last. You think Chicago's dangerous shit. You ain't even prepared. It's easy to, you know, you can shoot someone from far away and, you know, uh, I'm not saying that if you're a decent human being, you wouldn't be okay with that. But it's a bit easier than going up in somebody. It's way easier probably than going up to somebody with a machete and impaling them with this fucking thing and having to hack at them until they die. That's a whole other uh, brand of cruelty, of violence. It is. trying to play the victim, trying to pretend that she gives a fuck about the citizens of this city, and she don't. She cares about the gay ones. She does. She's on this commercial talking about the first time they're being represented, and this woman got tears in her eyes. I mean, you would think that she's about to accept the fucking Golden Globe Award. She cares about that. But if you watch her speak about the violence and everything, you know, the very generic, very bullshit answers, very political answers. There's no passion behind it. And I just want you to know that I see you, Mayor Like, but I see through your bullshit. You're the main reason why I'm moving. And I could, I could just hear your little beady, I could just see your little beady look in the paper now that... I can't do it. I, I, you know, I can't. I can't make my face contort to look that fucked up. I can't do it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. F O P clown. Oh, yeah. 
anyway, yeah, I'll work on it. But, um, yeah, so Kaylee McEnany, the gorgeous press secretary for uh, President Trump, uh, you know, that's the thing, too, about the mayor life. But, you know, we, you know, she acts kind of like, you know, Trump. So, you know, Kaylee McEnany told, you know, was talking about the violence in Chicago and how, uh, you know, because she was asked about it. And she said, hey, well, you know, it's up to the, if the mayor can't handle shit in her city, then the president will have to, you know, is going to have to step in. And so she, Lori Lightfoot, sends out this tweet talk, calling the woman a Karen. Now, doesn't that make you a bit of a hypocrite, Mayor Lightfoot, being the first openly gay African American? You know, you, you know, how, why, why would you use a racial epithet, you know, and cheapen your own quote unquote cause? See, it's okay for you to talk shit because you're black and lesbian now, and to say that, you know, I mean, what, what, what makes that all right? Now, I'm not a white folk sympathizer, but because I know I have enough white people in my life to know that white folk don't give a fuck about stereotypes. Really, they don't. They'll just point it out for an argument, but for the most part, they don't give a fuck. You know, they ain't going to be in the streets about the shit, you know. Uh, but you, Mayor Lightfoot, you know, all this crap, all this self-righteous indignation, all this shit like you're some sort of paragon, but the first thing come out of your mouth is some ghetto-ass shit like Karen. Yeah, I'll call it Karen, because that's all, you know why? Because that's all, you know, you, you couldn't give an answer, but you called a name. You know, you, you could give an insult. You know. Hey, hey, a lot of people consider your behavior, Mayor Lightfoot, is being black. That shit right there, you know, you asshole's right there. Yeah, you know, oh, she called her a Karen. I'll give you the, uh. FOP clown thing for the uh, Fraternal Order of Police. I'll give you that. That was hilarious and you stuck by your guns. And I hope you stick by your guns on this because that's about all you got. Lori Lightfoot, you've uh, done us the fucks. You've taken a shat on the you've shat on the citizens of this city for virtue signaling. You've shat on the citizens of this city for cheap labor. You've neglected, but pretended to care about the violence going on deeper in the inner city. And your response to that was to approve $11 million to raise taxes on those of us that work hard. Those of us that ride that shit awful red line to work and come home risking life and them late at night. And you people won't let good citizens like me have a fucking gun. Well, I can have one, but you make me go through loop, you know, tons of loopholes to protect myself. And you obviously can't protect me, Mayor Lightfoot. You and your shit aren't going to be able to protect my son coming in this world because you're full of it. I don't even know why my wife likes you. Probably because her friends at work do. But I see right through you. And I cannot wait. I'm going to work and everything. All my motivation is going to be about getting away from this city and your fucking bullshit leadership. You are glorified affirmative action diversity fucking hire and you don't deserve the job. With that being said, Switch gears. If Lori Foot, if Lori Lightfoot, is not enough to let you know that all of you that are out there, you don't have to be. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat, Republican, conservative, libertarian, fuck agree party. Okay. If you love our country the the way that it is. Because the way that it is now gives us a chance to correct the flaws. If you don't want our con our country being taken over by communists, thing the reason the very reason that people want to come over here risking life and limb is the same thing that these people like Ocasio Cortez are trying to destroy, like Lori Lightfoot, they're trying to destroy. Black Lives Matter is part of that. It's a small proxy army. They are insurrectionist. They may have started off good, but not now, not anymore. They are not 
for us. And besides, black folk, we shouldn't be worried about an organization helping us. It is up to the individual. It is up to each man to take responsibility for your destiny and yourself and to do the right thing. No more of this shit. Oh, I didn't have a chance. My daddy wasn't home. Fuck it. Move forward. Move on. And go get something. And fuck Lori Lightfoot. And fuck J.B. Pritzker. And fuck all those little fucking people, fucking bullshit human resources people that don't work for you. People like that don't work for you in these jobs, by the way. They don't fucking work for you. And that's all I'll say about that because I can't say anymore. I'll just say that. Just So if you're ever in a situation where you don't talk to them, go straight to fucking court. Don't talk to them at all. Unions are bullshit too. Another Lori Light football. We got this one union here in Chicago. Anyway, that's another that's another video. Like I said before, if anybody knows a good place to uh if you live in a good town, you know, I'm quiet. I'm a you know, you know, I'm a nerd. You'll see my wife running around and shit, but you know, hey, I you know, I ain't gonna you know kinda introverted obviously. So I'm gonna end this shit with a um, fuck Lori Lightfoot, fuck Black Lives Matter, fuck Sean King. He's worth one to five million dollars. And last but not least, fuck you, Mayor Lightfoot. I wanted to kind of stay in this city a little longer. But because you want to give money to everybody else and let the thugs run rampant and deny help and raise taxes to where it's become unaffordable, I got to leave a city that uh, I have a lot of memories and wanted to at least remain for another couple of years or so. But you've made that not possible because your leadership sucks. If you're out there tonight on your way home, uh, Chicago on the, on the red line, Take your earphones out of your ear. Keep your head on the swivel. Hopefully you're carrying some sort of weapon. Mind your business. Keep your head low. Because if uh, a cop has to... Because if you hurt one of these fucking degenerate fucks, you'll be considered a fucking evil person. But yet and still, at the end of the day, and at the beginning of the morning, it all comes down to this. There is no fate. No fate. But what we make for ourselves. I'm Cliff London. This is Cliff London Uncensored. Good morning, everyone. But for me, good night. Fuck off, Lightfoot. <laughs>